Do you have any advice for George Bush on his State of the Union message tonight? Um, stay home. Do you have any advice for old Georgie tonight on his State of the Union message? Yes, I do. Uh, please stop putting lipstick on that pig. Quit lying to us. Hi, young lady. How you doing today? Not too bad, but not too great either. Well, do you have any advice for George W. Bush tonight in his State of the Union message? Oh, George, give it up. Hello, George Bush. What I would like to know is when are you going to start telling the truth? I'm sure we won't see the truth tonight on your State of the Union speech. Young lady, do you have any advice for George W. Bush and his State of the Union message tonight? Well, I think the smartest thing the man could do, and he's never really done anything smart, would be not even come tonight. Just stay home. That would be, that would be the greatest gift he could give the American people. All right, George, here we are, a few hours from your State of the Union address. A lot of people say that you're going to be talking about your legacy. Let's talk about your legacy. $4 trillion in debt, $3 gasoline, the rest of the world loathes us, the collapse of the U.S. dollar. That's a real good track record, George. Not to mention there's still people living in formaldehyde-filled trailers down in New Orleans. Good job there, pal. And you know what? All of this success on your part, you know what's going to get for you and all of your hick ignorant supporters? You might just get a black man in the White House in a year. What do you think about that, George? <laughs> Take that one down to rural Texas. Oh, George, he's going to give his State of the Union message tonight. Do you have any advice for him? Uh, Mr. President, I hope you can avoid lie number 936. Oh, George is going to give his State of the Union message today. You got any advice for him? George, impeachment is on the table. You better be very careful. Now, let me ask you a question. How do you say nuclear? Is it nuclear or nuclear? It certainly ain't nuclear. It's nuclear. How do you say that? <laughs> nuclear! 10-4. Oh, George, he's going to be giving his State of the Union message tonight. Do you have any advice for him? Well, George, can you try to tell the truth just for one night? I don't know if that's possible. I don't either, but we'll see. Oh, George, he's going to have his State of the Union message tonight. Do you have any advice for the guy? I don't know if I have any advice, but I do have a question. George, do you know where Mitch McConnell's military record information is? Maybe the terrorists got it. Oh, George, he's going to be giving his State of the Union message tonight. Do you have any advice for him? Uh, yes, I do. Uh, George, I'm going to tell you, for seven years, you've been wrong. For once, couldn't you get something right? Don't you think you're asking just a little bit too much of old Georgie? Uh, from this man, I probably am. Oh, George, he's going to give his State of the Union message tonight. Do you have any advice for him? Well, if this is going to be his last address, I hope his last address will be Leavenworth Prison, where he will be serving his impeachment sentence. I understand old George is going to give his State of the Union message tonight. Do you have any advice for him? Yeah, go hunting with Dick Cheney. Yeah, I want Bush to apologize to the nation for the mess that he's gotten us into. I want him to apologize to the world. I want him to announce immediate troop withdrawal, no permanent bases in Iraq closing Guantanamo, stepping down, he and Cheney and Rice all stepping down. That's what I'd like to hear.